Hey guys, welcome back to yet another DIY video. If you are new here, my name is Jeanette and welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with someone who might enjoy it or even learn a thing or two. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I transformed my fridge from looking like this to looking like this. This video was not only supposed to be about a fridge, it was supposed to be about this whole area around the fridge, which is going to be my dining area. Everything that I've ordered to complete the project has not been shipped yet because of all the COVID restrictions in China right now. I'm going to say it again. I live in a free apartment, if you don't know. So when I moved in here, there was no refrigerator. And I told the landlord that, please buy me a refrigerator. I cannot be buying a fridge in China. Like, I don't have that type of money. He was like, okay, I'm going to get you a fridge. <laughs> Little did I know that this guy was going to go to a salvage yard and get me a fridge that's two minutes away from being crushed. Obviously, I'm exaggerating. I don't know where he got it, but it does look like it comes from a salvage yard. Like, just look at it. Look at this fridge. I was like what like I couldn't believe he got it like in two days and I was like okay that was quick like in two days they texted me and said oh there's a new fridge right you should go check it out because I hadn't moved in yet at that time so when I moved in here I'm like okay what type of fridge is this luckily the interior does not look as bad as the exterior so I was like okay it's fine I can work with this that's when I decided to buy a wallpaper right so before I pasted the wallpaper, I had to remove the sticker. And luckily for me, I do have a sticker remover spray. The Chinese people like putting lots of red Chinese New Year um, wishes and stuff on the door. That is just... Honestly, it's just nice for a day or two, but then after that, it needs to be removed, but they just keep it there for like the whole year. So what I do is when I move into an apartment, I have to remove all those stickers that they paste on the door and so forth. So that really helped me in that sense. In the current situation that we're in, I wouldn't have been able to order one and receive it on time. So I pasted the wallpaper, which was kind of easy to just paste, but unfortunately for me, I had more bubbles than I would have liked to have. And I try to peel it off and then stick it on again, but the bubbles just wouldn't go away.
what I need to use water because I watched a YouTube video of a guy who was pasting a wallpaper on his fridge and he used water. So I sprayed some water on the fridge, but like, <laughs> ah, didn't work out. So I was like, you know what? As long as the wallpaper is on the fridge, like that's all that matters. As long as I've covered all the rustiness and all the dents that were showing, I'm happy. I'm really happy because from afar you really do not see the small air bubbles but this, as soon as you get closer you can see them but I mean it's just me who lives here and I know my mistakes and I can live with my mistakes. This wallpaper was much thicker than the PVC I used for the cabinet doors and the countertops in the kitchen. I kind of think that's one of the reasons why I struggled to work with it because it was a lot more thicker and it was just not flexible as much as I would have loved it to be. fridge that's straight throughout but this one has a lot of edges like everything in this house just has lots of edges and it just makes every single thing difficult for me paper towards the inside because I was like nobody's gonna see I mean it's not gonna be untidy if I fold it towards the inside and if I do cut it what if I make a mistake also because it was too thick to cut I was like uh -uh, uh -uh, let me just fold it towards the inside um, and I love the outcome of folding it towards the inside because I mean the folds are not visible and that's all that matters So I pulled the wallpaper towards the left side because that's the side that I'm going to see on a daily basis. That's the side of my dining area and I don't want to be eating and looking at uneven edges. I eventually had to cut it out straight. On the other side, I didn't have to do any cutting but on this side, I had to cut it out straight and I think I did a good job at that.
of unforeseen circumstances, this is where the video has to end. Bye guys, don't forget to like, subscribe.